In this video, I want to show you the difference between dashboards and reports in Power BI. We're going to compare them side by side and also some of the scenarios and when you should use dashboards or reports. All of that and more. So without further ado, let's get started. Hi, my name is Fanan and welcome to the Solutions Abroad YouTube channel where I focus on teaching beginners the wonderful world that is Power BI. I upload new videos every week so make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell icon to get notified when a new one is out. So to explain it better, it's probably best to show you through some demonstrations. So here we have a sample report that I created and published in the Power BI service. It's a very simple report that does some analysis on customers and sales. And with Power BI reports, you're able to do things like, you know, slicing and interacting with the elements within the report. So, you know, if you wanted to analyze a different year, you can do that and it changes, you know, cross filters all the different visuals in your report. If you wanted to, let's say, see the sales for a specific country, for example, you can do that as well. Um, and you can interact with, you know, with these visuals, you can export them to CSV, you can uh, copy them into your, your clipboard. And this is one of the great features of reports in Power BI. It lets your end users and customers to slice and dice their own data, to analyze it and, you know, get familiar with their reports. So when you hover over elements, you will have this icon, the pin visual icon. And if you click it, you'll see that it allows you to pin certain visuals from your Power BI report into a dashboard. So let's test this out. Let's test it by pinning it to a new dashboard. Let's just name it test. And let's go to the dashboard. So you'll see that here it's uh, pinned our visual into a canvas here as a tile that you can move around, you can kind of edit a bit. But what I want you to pay attention with is the number that we have here for the total sales. You see that it says 82.7 thousand pounds and it preserved the filter context that we applied. So it was only showing us the uh, total sales for Germany in 1998. And you can repin the same visual with a different filter context and it will preserve that filter context and you can compare them side by side. So this one, let's say the 1998 total sales. If we go to the dashboard, you'll see that it's the same visual, but with different filters. And pinning visuals doesn't stop there. You can also pin other charts here. So for example, let's uh, pin our sales trends into this new dashboard that we've created. But what you'll notice is that unlike what you had in the reports, you don't have the option to interact and cross filter using this visual within this dashboard itself. And this is one of the differences between using a dashboard and a report. A dashboard provides a static view of your visuals by preserving the visual filters uh, on it, whereas the reports provide you a more dynamic view, so it lets you cross filter and you know slice and dice your data as you want. Because dashboards provide static one-pager views, it's typically used to see quick metrics on a day-to-day -day basis. And the typical use of dashboards would be, you know, the dashboards is what you would share to your end users to give them the quick metrics that they want. And and if they want to expand and explore it further, they can click on the dashboards, which brings them to the Power BI reports. So if I click here, you'll see that it takes me back into my Power BI report. Another difference that you might find is that with Power BI reports, you have the ability to add new pages. So if you hit edit here, you'll see that you can add uh, new pages with different filters uh, and you know different views. Whereas with dashboards, they are treated as one page or canvases. So it means that if you wanted to uh, create a new page, you need to create an entirely new dashboard altogether. Now, because the visuals in the dashboards are static, one of the best ways to use a dashboard is to use it to control the storytelling of your report, to let's say focus on specific areas that you want to uh, focus your narrative on, or maybe in this case you want to focus your narrative on a specific year, on a specific section of the business. You're able to go back to the reports and filter the right values that you want to use and pin them into dashboards to you know build your storytelling as you want. So here I've created a sample dashboard which tells the story of how we did in the 1997 service review. So it shows us information about things like the total sales, you know, the number of units sold, 
our year on year percentage compared to the previous year and you'll see I've added new other things here like uh, some commentaries uh, some images to make it interesting and you'll see we take advantage of preserving that filter context by showing us just the 1997 sales and here we even done even further by comparing the 1997 sales in total compared to the sales for just Germany which is our highest selling country for that year. Another good way to use dashboards is to use it as gateways to other reports. So here you can see I've created another dashboard here which uh, pretty much just pins the reports into these dashboards and it acts as a gateway to these other reports. So if you have multiple reports and you want a way to to, uh, navigate around them easily with a bit of instructions a bit of commentary so this gives you those links so you can link into uh, other dashboards so if I click here it links me to the service review dashboard or you can click here which links you to the individual reports so by now I hope you understand the main differences between dashboards and reports let's go through when you should be using one or the other so the truth is they are useful in their own way ideally you use them together not as a replacement for one or the other. So the general rule of thumb is if you want your end users to have the flexibility of interacting with reports, slicing and dicing their data, you want to be sharing them as reports. These people are typically your day-to-day -day operations people. However, if your audience is more towards the leadership where the granularity of the data is less important but more about the speed of getting the insights, it's better to give them that dashboard so you can curate their experience without going through the learning curve of interacting with reports. But where they shine is actually when you use them together. So you will have the ability to give them dashboards which answers the questions with the most impact and if necessary provide links to reports to allow for root cause analysis. And that's really it for this video. I hope it helped you understand the difference between dashboards and reports in Power BI. Leave a like in this video if it helped you. It's the best way to let me know that you enjoy this type of content. Get in touch using the social media links that are included in the description box below. And thank you so much for watching, guys. See you again on the next one.